Welcome in Irish Nation to the Golden Dawn Restaurant. I'm Tim Corso with Quez Patterson, Irish senior defensive back and wide receiver, kind of running back, playing all over the place the last couple of games. Quez, thanks for joining me. And you had a great win against East. You got, got some good touches, and you've scored some touchdowns recently. And, mm. I mean, looking shifty on the field, how, how was it to get that win in personally and, you know, team-wise? It feels great to get the win. And for team-wise, it's like it's just another building block to push us for the, further into where we want to get at, and that's state. You know, win all 16 games, get there, hold up the trophy at the end of the season, and just go out with a bang for my senior year with the rest of my seniors. Right, and, you know, we're watching you play on both sides of the ball. I've noticed how hard-hitting of a safety you are. You kind of remind me of Jamal Adams. I'm a Jets fan, <laughs> so a little biased. But, you know, what kind of player, when you're on both sides of the ball, who do you kind of model your game after you kind of look up to? Well, defense-wise, I'm going to say Shallow San I mean, say Shallow Sanders because – I'm a Bucs fan, so that's a great answer. Yeah, yeah I'm going to yeah. say him because, like, the way he just – execute and come down on the ball and a hard hitter and he just like a ball hog and that's just like how I picture myself how I want to be on the field but offense wise my teammates gonna say I'm biased because I say it all the time I say I'm like a little Travis Hunter but they don't say it. they say I'm like who did they say they say I was like a, a washed up Odell back in my practice <laughs> today and I was like all right you got it and honestly, if you, I, I'm pretty sure I said this. I'm 99% I'm certain that I said you looked like Shiloh Sanders out there last week. Yeah. Now you can double-check that. I'm pretty sure I said that, which is crazy. But, you know, you're playing both ways. And uh, we've ta I've talked to Tyron and Jack Keese about this, you know, playing the conditioning. How does that factor in? Because you got to play both sides of the ball. It was, it was a lot of conditioning. Like, earlier in the season, I had, I had got surgery on my hand, so I was out. So I, didn't, I wasn't able to run, hit, do nothing. But – after week one, I came back. Coach Ritten had me running, running. <laughs> Middle of practice, Quest, I need you to do 10 one tens up and down. I was like, all right, I got you, Coach. Got to doing that. And then it's like over time, my condition started getting back to where I'm used to. That. And now I could say I'm not a fully 100% best conditioning, but it's getting back up there for sure. Right, and you talk about, you know, the, the hand injury. Well, past four weeks, you really couldn't notice it in the field, yeah. so I'm glad you're all good. And, uh you got a big game against Harding. Let's talk about that. Harding, they're just, you know, another really good defensive team. A lot of playmakers on offense. Very similar to you guys. Mm -hmm. You're going on the road to Molenkopf Stadium, and that's a, that's a big atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you guys hosted them last year. So you haven't played there in high school, if I'm correct. Yeah, and yeah. That, that's a, it's, it's a fun atmosphere. But what are you looking forward to in that game, and what's going to take to get that win? I'm looking for a good game. I'm really, I'm really trying to just go there, play Ursuline ball, execute what we got to do, and then just – Get back on the bus, go to the shrine, and go party. <laughs> Sing the go, fight song all about yeah, everything. Go have fun with all our fans and just come back. Maybe to the come to, about to say maybe come, come to the Golden, Golden Dawn, Dawn right? Some chicken wings. Hey, they got some good food here. They're, they're a t hot Italian sausage sandwich. I recommend it if you haven't uh, tried it. I never had it. Oh, you got to try it. But uh, now we got um, looking forward to Harding. And what do they do well that you guys are going to try to, you know, exploit what they do poorly, excuse me, and then what they do well that you're going to try to, you know, combat with your aggressive play on defense and offense? Well, one thing I can say they do poorly is, like, their corners their corners line out wider than our receivers, so it's easier to pick off the corners. Right. But something I can say they execute very well is their, is their outside linebackers, when they blitz, they come in blitz hard. There's no – they take no plays off. They want, like, they want that kill shot on our quarterback. And uh, I can say I practice today. That's not going to happen. We, right. We've been <laughs> – We've been on that all all our practice today. Been having fun, going out at one another all day. Right, and of course, you've, I'm sure you've watched the film, and they their defenses look really, really good mm -hmm. in those first four games. Their lone loss was to Cam McKinley, who's always a really good team. They only gave 26, and that's the most they've given up all year. Mm -hmm. So, and they pitched and shut out last week. So, what's it going to take to get some points on that defense and have your offense, you know, score more than essentially their offense? Uh, it's just going to take tempo. Uh, gap to be gap sound, everybody to do their assignment, be key on the ball, and then just go out there and do what we do usually, just play earth on the ball. Like how our coaches say, how our coaches preach it to us every day, that only person that could beat us on the field is ourselves. So we can play ourselves the best way we can. I don't think no team is messing with us for real. Right, and we talked about, you know, film briefly. So what's kind of your prep? Because I know Coach Jordan will have you guys go through the film the game after and, you know, yeah. grade each play you're, you're on. So how, how do you kind of take that? And, you know, I'm sure you enjoy it. So how, how do you kind of, like, you know, prepare for that? Oh, I take it like – I take it like good teaching. Like I sit there, I learn. The coaches, they break the plays down for us, and they tell us, like, they be like, Quez, watch this. He going to do this. If you run this route, if you run that route. And I sit there, I learn. And then once I go home, I get to get on my computer, I write the plays out, 
and I'll break it down for myself so I could slow it down. So then when I see it on the field, I'll be like, oh, yeah, he finna come here. I can make this I can make this cut, that cut to get to that position. Same thing I did for ease. I was able to break everything down easily. Right, and I was curious, so last year you were 18, this year you're five. Mm -hmm. What kind of went into the number change, and, you know, is there a reason you chose five specifically? Mm, not five specifically. I really wanted two, but Joe Baylor got it. <laughs> but the reason why I had 18 last year, it was my birthday's on the 18th. My grandfather had died on the 18th, so it was something like my junior year, I just wanted, like, to go out right. for him. And, but this year I got five because I forget. I forget my grandpa. It was something for my grandpa. He had five in middle school, I believe, and he finished his senior year with five. Right. And I just wanted, like, to finish my senior year with the same number and go out with a bang with that. Right, most coaches will give the single-digit numbers to the hardest workers, the leaders, mm -hmm. so that speaks to the testament of what you do on the field and off the field, I'm sure. And, you know, what's it going to take for you guys to – I've kind of touched on this a little bit, you know, the final scouting report. What do you, what do you think you're going to have to do to get the win come Friday night against the Raiders? We're just going to have to, we're just gonna have to go, go out there and execute, do what we got to do, and it's just going to be a good game. I want it to be a great game. I believe they got great players. Shout out to Chaz. He's a great, he's a great offensive player and defensive player. Uh, my, one of my old friends, James, he's a, also, he's a backup quarterback. He's a great player as well. Uh, Stevie Sims, shout out to him. He's a great player, but – the people we got on our side of the ball, I don't think nobody over there is messing with us, and we just going to go out there, play as hard as we can, execute every single play, every down, and just come home with the win. And lastly, what's going to be your message to the Irish nation coming out down to Warren, Ohio, on Friday night? Come make some noise for us. We're going to come out there. We're going to show y'all. We're going to show them how Young Sound get down, how the Ursula Irish get down. And on the way back, we're going to come to the Shrine, get all together, and see our alma mater, and then ring the victory bell, and then we all can come to the Gunner Dawn and get some chicken wings. That's what I love. And the plan's coming back 4-1, Quez. Thanks for joining me. This is Quez Patterson, Irish wide receiver, running back, defensive back, you name it, he does it. And we're going to have this game covered article-wise on Friday night. And we won't be there, but Irish Nation, watch the game. They're going to face the Raiders, both 3-1 teams. I hope you enjoy it, and go Irish. Go Irish.